on March 3rd, 1985, Kevin McHale, one of the Celtics' famed Big Three, had the game of his life versus the Detroit Pistons. McHale left the game with 1.25 remaining with 56 points, 16 rebounds, 3 blocks, and 4 assists. The Celtics crushed the Pistons 138-129 to at the Garden. It was a record-breaking scoring performance, one previously held by Larry Bird with 53 points displayed two years earlier. Well, McHale's newly set record had a short lifespan. Just nine short days after McHale broke his team record for scoring, Larry Bird put on a shooting performance for the ages. Bird submitted one of the most memorable performances of his entire career, though it should be noted that he does not consider it as one of his favorites. Bird torched the Hawks team and set a Celtics franchise record by scoring 60 points in a 126-115 win. Larry's legendary performance was so electrifying, he scored 32 points in slightly more than 14 minutes of court time during the second half scoring barrage, including the final 16 for the Celtics on 22 out of 36 from the field and 15 out of 16 from the line. The way he was shooting the ball was like living in a video game. It couldn't be real, but it was, said Hawk star Dominique Wilkins who scored 36 points in the defeat. Bird got in the zone. It was one of those games where everything he shot went in. Such shooting display wasn't out of the ordinary for Larry, and I bet the ones who were the happiest with it were his teammates, as they basically could have taken the night off and let him do his thing. He told us at halftime that nobody could stop him, so we just gave him the ball and got out of the way. Then when he went out and started taunting the Atlanta players on the floor, the ones on the bench, their coaches, even the referees, he was talking so much trash he was buried in it. It was one of those nights when he could have drop kicked the ball in. I loved it. The most shocking stat from this game is that he made only one three-pointer, but the most memorable one was the one that didn't count. Just ask Scott Hastings, Tree Rollings, Eddie Johnson, and Cliff Livingston. Hawks player who went berserk after Bird drained a tough three-point shot after getting fouled. Before shooting the ball, Bird said, who wants it? And shot a high rainbow falling away jumper that went in. Needless to say, nobody wanted it. There was no way of stopping him that night. What made that game even more memorable was what the Hawks coach Mike Fratello did to some of his players after the game. Bird's performance was so impressive it even had the Hawks players jumping out of their seats. Some literally and the coach didn't appreciate it. We're trying to beat these people. We're not going to the movies to enjoy a show. This is our competitor. I didn't appreciate the way they handled it. I let them know that and we moved on. A lesson learned. Their lesson was that they got fined. So yeah. Coach Fratello fined his bench guys with $500 and the way they were acting, it doesn't come at a surprise at all. Some of them erupted like they were Celtics fans. A couple of them even ran off the bench. It wasn't a sight your coach likes to see and he made sure they paid for it, literally. You completely understood the sentiment behind his action, but it must be hard to keep your cool when a historic scoring display is happening in front of your very eyes. We've seen benches react a similar way to opposing players' performances, and Coach Fratello made sure that it was the last time his team responded like that. At the end of the day, that was the only thing he could control, because when Bird catches fire the way he did that night, you knew there was no way to stop it. Legend is what legend does, and Larry Legend got buckets. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more great basketball content. Thank you for watching.